start. And oh. action. <laughs> Two Canadian guys trying weird beers. Okay, I'm Ed. This is my son, Zach. We're two Canadian guys trying weird beers. And today, I learned that someone was making $50,000 off of their bottled farts. And what? I also learned that we are in the wrong industry. Oh, my goodness. I mean, we'd be like China churning out the farts. Not the Chinese people fart, but I'm talking about their industrious labor force. That churns out a lot of product. <laughs> What? It's a compliment. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's not? It really depends who you ask. Well, yeah, okay. They're, they're not exactly overpaid, but, you know. They're happy. <laughs> oh, no. So what are you doing today? Uh, we're drinking beer. Now, who's this person selling their farts? Some reality TV star was like, oh, I'm going to start eating beans and eggs. <laughs> and, and they started selling their fart in a jar. And, oh. and, and then they had a heart attack. Because, Did they die? No. But but they can't be but they, they can't keep selling their farts anymore because... <laughs> they can't eat all the insoluble sugars because they, they've got a heart condition. I'm guessing. I'm guessing they do now. Oh. Well... That would be no problem for us. But we're not going to do it because we've got pride or... No. 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 It just sounds like a lot of work farting into a bottle. Like, how do you how do you do that? Og, how do you, how do you capture a fart in a bottle? I was trying to figure out this very same thing this morning. <laughs> so far, the results are inconclusive. Well, there you go. He's as close to an expert as we have in this house. I feel a little offended. <laughs> Not in terms of production, but in terms of figuring out how you would go about doing so. If it comes to production, you're my guy. He's the the businessman side of things. <laughs> He's the idea man. <laughs> okay, this is really... Yeah, this is disgusting. So we got beer and we should be drinking beer. Right? We got two beers as always. But before... Palate Cleanser! Now, Palate Cleanser today is... Bang, bang! Dump. Dun, 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 dun. Now this is not a very good tequila, but we gotta get rid of it. And look, it's got a screw top, so I can't hurt myself. But I mean, you can by drinking it. It smells like solvent. It smells like somebody just cleaned up a crime scene. Anywho, in for a penny, in for a periwinkle. So what do we have uh, on tap here? From Third Moon Brewing, we have Separation Anxiety. Boy, howdy. It's an IPA, and for some reason, Separation Anxiety is a uh, crow with a triangle? I guess that the, the bird really likes its Dorito. Well, don't crow steal things? Yes, but I think it's more magpies. I mean, all birds steal things. Birds are assholes. I really don't uh, understand the uh, separation anxiety with this little red Dorito. triangle. And... The, the little Dorito. I don't get it. But maybe I'm just being thick. Yeah, we're not cultured enough. Oh, man, the smell is very IPA. So this is just straight up IPA. This is just straight IPA. I'm so, so glad that we're going from Bang Bang Tequila to an IPA. Oh. Thank God. Aren't we blessed? I'm trying to save you from, from schmutz, my good man. If you have to leave a half a can of a beer in order to avoid schmutz, there's something wrong with that beer. I'm scared. There's that classic IPA smell. Yep. Now let's see uh, Let's see how uh, it is. Not bad. It's not... No. As far as IPAs go, it's okay. But, like, it's got that aftertaste of just, like, wet grass. Now, I've been reading a lot about IPAs. Have you? 
Yes, I have. And you know why? Because, because no thy Emery? So many of uh, these uh, craft brewers make IPAs, and there's such a market for them. They're like one of the most popular beers. It's true. I'm going, how can that be? Like the bitterness, I find the bitterness off-putting. Now, <laughs> That's because it's bitter. Bitter is, is a taste that was naturally in the wild to tell you, don't eat this. The, the beer crafters and, and the IPA mongers will try to convince you that it's because it's it's a bit more sophisticated and this and that. And it's like, you know, spare me the whole emperor's new clothes bullshit. Now, a lot of these IPAs, they do have a nice underlying taste. There's a nice underlying flavor, you know, but it's that, that acrid bitterness. Yeah, like... It is inherent to IPAs that I find unpleasant. And I can't believe anybody tastes it and goes, ooh, that's good. Like, I'm calling you guys liars, essentially. I don't buy it. It's like you're developing a taste for durian. Really? You want to develop a taste for a fruit that tastes like rotting garbage? No, no, it doesn't taste like rotting garbage. It just smells like it. The people develop the taste for it because there was nothing else. It's like, yeah, either eat durian or tree bark. Personally, I would rather eat tree bark, but you know. <laughs> Boy, I'm getting the... I'm getting the hairy eyeball from the producer. Seems like I'm stepping into one pile of poo after another. But I just, uh, I still do not get the attraction to IPAs. Like, if you could weed out that, that, that taste and just keep the underlying flavors of the hops, that would be awesome. Yeah, like, it's not, it's not inherently bad. How is that? Now, I read that we're drinking the IPAs too cold. Like, they're supposed to served at, like, 50 degrees or something like that. Mm, hot and bitter? I know. I don't, I, I don't buy it. Like, I find the IPAs that are cooled go down better. And once they start warming up, they get even worse. So, you know what? You guys are snowing us, man. You, 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 you know, you're gaslighting us in regards to IPAs, all you IPA people. Go enjoy your hot milk and your wet bread. You, you think dogs like IPAs? No, dogs are smart creatures. That eat their own poop. Okay, so they've got the issues with the, the flavor. Okay, so let's let's talk about <laughs> this particular IPA, separation anxiety. Now it's not bad. I mean, it's got that that, that bitterness always throws me off, but the taste underneath it is pretty good. Can, can I also just say? Only in the beer world can you get away with naming your product separation anxiety and people will go, hmm, I want some of that. Like, you can't name... I'm all about separation anxiety. Like, you, you can't name your cabbages separation anxiety. People aren't, aren't, aren't going to want anxious cabbage. Anxious cabbage used to be my stage name. I made no money. Hello, I am Anxious Cabbage. Today I dance for you. I'm here to dance for you, ladies. It is fifty dollars, but please don't go away. <laughs> this is not a bad IPA. It's, it's it, there's a nice taste to it. Well, and once you get acclimated to the bitterness, it's a nice tasting beer. This one gets a pass for me, anyway. It's one of those IPAs where, like, I can tell that it's actually quite nice. There's just that underlying taste of bad. Really what IPAs now, apparently, they don't have to be bitter. You know, you can make an IPA, it's still an IPA, but you can you can kind of ferret out the bitterness. So why do they keep it in? I don't know, because they're sick. All right, so separation anxiety you get to pass? I like I liked it. I don't mind it. As, as far as IPAs go, it was okay. Yeah. It's not bad. So I'm on to you. Good job, Third Moon Brewing. Make a make like a, a a blonde ale or a lager or something. You know, and the thing is, the bitterness from IPAs is not necessarily the, due to the alcohol content, because we've had strong beers for, uh, of other types, and we go, "Wow, that's strong!" But man, is that good? So no, it's the IPA flavor. Anyway, so before we go on, move on to the next beer. Oh. Palate cleanser. Palate cleanser. Ah. 
Oh. Oh, that is. Anyway, it is just like, oh, you know, the devil has bottled his farts and it's a tequila. Oh, while well, you're reading the label, we've changed locations, obviously. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you uh, if, if you notice that the set was different, uh, make sure to hit that like button. And if you didn't like it, you're a fool and you should subscribe. <laughs> and now ring the bell. And now tell your friends. Because if you didn't notice that, uh, that it changed from last week, then obviously you're not subscribed and you should be watching us more. Yeah, come on, man. You know... I was kind of hoping that the guys from Rush would subscribe. We gave them such an effusive review last week. Both their beer and this then as a band. I really thought they'd subscribe and maybe go, Hey guys, we love you guys because you're fellow Canadians. And you're obviously uh, well versed in the ways of beer. And uh, we love you so much that uh, we'd like to write a theme song for you. But that never happened. Now I know they're really busy guys. Nah. These men from this band called Rush. These musicians. So, so they can be forgiven for not dropping us a line and stuff. <laughs> Nobody drops us a line. Because we're not even a blip on the map. Hey, it's bound to happen one day. One day we'll be just shameless enough. Yes. We'll be like Mount Vesuvius, only shameless. Can a volcano be shameless? Can you have a shameless volcano? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure... Pompey didn't look up at the mountain and be like, aw, he's shy. <laughs> Let's see if we can draw him out of his shell. Uh-oh! <laughs> Too much! Too much out of his shell! Please go back in your shell. <laughs> and that's the story of Pompey. <laughs> You're welcome, history teachers. <laughs> we like doing our part for the education of uh, the youths of yeah, the world. It's very important to us. Yes. That that kids get the book learning done good. Yes. We're all about the education. Speaking of education, this next beer is from Wishbone Brewing Company. Wishbone. Johnny Wishbone. Have we had Wishbone? I don't know. I don't recall. Well, either way, this is Roadhouse. Uh, it's a faux Hellas lager. Are you reading that correctly? <laughs> oh, faux as in F-A-U-X, which means false. Yeah. Or fake. Uh, so it's, it's a fake Hell's Lager. What does that mean? It means it's not a real Hell's Lager. They're just pretending. They're faking it. All right. Uh, water, barley, hops, yeast, and it's 5.1%. Uh, okay. Now, I know we've had a Hell's Lager before. But I think we've only had like one or two, so I yeah. I cannot remember what it tastes like. No, I don't, and I don't, I don't remember what it is either. Cause the older I get, the the worse my memory gets. It looked good though. Yep, looks like my kind of beer. Yeah, we gotta watch out sliding stuff on the table uh, on this table because the table is actually an old wooden plank <clears throat> nailed together. We just threw a cloth over it. Because we're all of a big budget. More than you need to know. I know I've said this a lot in the past. But the smell of this. Okay, I agree. It kind of <laughs> smells like farts. <laughs> yes, we got one. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks good. But again, I've been reading about uh, serving beer. And there are a lot of things that can happen. Uh, particularly with craft beers. If you wait too long, they can go skunky. If they're not stored at a, at a decent temperature, they can go skunky. If they're in bottles and they're not stored in dark, they can like the light can make them go skunky. Beer is very fragile. If you tell them a joke and they don't get it, and then you have to explain it, they can go kind of skunky. They're they're very sensitive, just like us. Oh man. Yeah, it's it's a weird smell, but there's that underlying smell of. Uh, Gastrointestinal malt. problems. No, malts and, you know, that kind of stuff. Maltrointestinal problems. No, it, I, I'm sure it's going to taste great, so let, let's give her a whirl. Tastes a little flat, but it's not too bad. I kind of wish it was more, though. If it was everything in here, but it was like, poof. Instead, it's just like, 
but it, it's got to go poof to really... 5.1? Yeah, it, it tastes a bit strong. It doesn't taste worth the 5.1. This isn't a beer that, that feels worth, like, getting sloshed on. I don't know. It's not bad. It's not bad, but I, it's just... It's just not enough for me. It's got a sweetness to it. Yeah. Almost kind of meaty. Uh, with a D, not with a T. It's not a bad beer. The beer is making me sad because it doesn't live up to the potential that I see it being. Well, it is a faux hell's beer. I don't mind. I, I kind of liked it. Hey, should we change our rating system? Should we, like, rate, like, five stars from one to five stars? I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's beer. It's very simple, right? Like, like either I like it or I don't like it. Yeah, but there are degrees of liking it. But then, like, this lager, I like it, but I don't like it as much as some other lagers. If we were to do, do a five-star rating, what would you give it? 3.5. Instead of, like, stars, I feel like we could compare it to something else, like... I would rate this this beer like a, it's a Pacific Rim movie out of ten. That's fair. Like it's decent enough to just be drinkable, but there's so much missing from it that you really wanted, and it just feels like super unimpressive. It's it's not bad. It's just disappointing. Ooh, that's even worse. I mean, calling a beer disappointing. Can you imagine how these guys are gonna feel? They're gonna be crestfallen. I think that, that although to that be fair, they're not watching us. If they feel disappointed, then they should go. Hey, sorry that you felt this way about this beer. Can we recommend this beer that we're sending you? <laughs> what he's saying is, we can be bought. Okay, can or can't? Oh no, I'd sell out in a heartbeat. Well, yes and no. I don't know. Nobody's offered to buy my soul, so yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean. I don't think we'd be massive sellouts, but I mean, I would love to we'd drink... Would be moderate, moderate sellouts? Yeah, like, like you know, I, I I don't think we'd shell off for just about anything, but man, what I wouldn't give to drink beer from this, these sweet Adidas shoes, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not impressed by shoes. Yeah, we've done the beer, so obviously this, this, ro this roadhouse is middle of the road. Yep. Don't effusively love it, don't hate it. Separation anxiety. I don't feel it. I don't mind it. I thought, it, as far as IPAs go, it was one of the better tasting IPAs that I've had. I can recognize it's a it's a good IPA, but because it's an IPA, it's a no for me. But try it. Yeah. Try it yourself. Yeah, and I mean, oh, as always, try these beers yourself, and let us know what you think. There's our beers for this week. You know what? Not bad. Yep, not bad. Overall, not bad. But uh, there you go. That's it. I'm Ed. This is my son, Zach. We're the Canadian guys trying weird beers. Ta-da!